Hey everyone, it's Miss Christopher again. One more anchor chart. Take out a piece of paper, grab your markers and, and whatever else you need and pause your video and then come back and follow along with me. Today, I'm just gonna cover the different ways of naming triangles. I feel like this is a really great way to make an anchor chart because there are two ways to name triangles and two um, different what we call classifications. Okay, so when you're ready, get your paper together. We're gonna be naming triangles. We can name triangles in two different ways. So let's go ahead and, and break our paper into two. And let's talk about the two ways that we can name triangles. The first way, we're gonna name them by sides. And we're gonna name them by angles. Okay, so sides and angles. Here we go. Let's talk about sides first. So there are three different ways that we can name an angle by its side. The first way is what we call equilateral. So on an equilateral, on an equilateral triangle, look at the word itself. Look at the word itself. Let's move you here, sorry. There we go. An equilateral has equal, and remember what we said in a previous video that lateral means side or line, okay? So equilateral means equal lines or equal sides. So an equilateral triangle means all the sides are the same length. So all sides, same length. That's what makes it. And remember, we're only looking at sides here. So an equilateral triangle has all sides the same length. Let's move on. Um, in a triangle, which we have two sides the same length. Can you shout it out for a minute? I'll give you a chance. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, did you say it? Wonderful. This one is called an isosceles triangle. So we have... So in an isosceles triangle, we have at least two of our sides the same length. So isosceles triangle, let's see if I can draw one. If I have, let's say, I have two sides really tall and long and a short one right here. That means this side and this side are the same length. So an isosceles triangle has two, two sides, same length. We often call that congruent. So two sides are congruent or similar or, or the same, okay? So congruent means same. We should come back to that word later. So isosceles has two sides, equilateral has all sides. And now, while I'm getting up my last marker here, go ahead and tell me, what should I place? Oh, let's go with pink, huh? Oh, let's go with orange. What should we say? This one has no sides the same length. It's kind of, awkward and weird and off, and this word is called scalene. In a scalene triangle, no sides are equal. They're all different lengths, okay? So no sides are equal in a scalene triangle. Let's see, I might have you know, a medium length one here, a really long one, and then kind of, a, you know, kind of a, a smaller version. So here I have medium, long, and small. So no sides are the same length. Notice I'm not showing any equal sides on these kinds. So a triangle can be equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. Now, when I look at angles, on the other hand, I have different ways that I can make angles as well. So I can name a triangle by its side or by its angle. So let's talk about our angles. So we can name a rect or a triangle, so, oh my goodness, a triangle by its angle. And let's just go with our basic, regular, um, nice and orderly one called a right triangle. In a right triangle, it has, a triangle has to have one right angle. So it must have one 90 degree angle or one or one right angle. 
okay? You can't actually have a triangle with two right angles. It doesn't work. I'll try to explain that. I'll explain that one in a moment. So let's just say here we have a right angle. So we just draw our right angle, draw that in, and then connect your line. This line here is called the hypotenuse. That's another thing for us to talk about later, okay? So we have a right, right triangle. What else can we do? Let's go with pink here. The next way we can do this is with an acute triangle. So we can name it as an acute. And we were learned before that an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. So a triangle with acute angles actually is gonna have all of its angles less than 90 degrees. So if I were to draw an acute angle, let's see if I can do this, acute triangle. Let's see here, because that's acute, that's acute, that's acute. It's almost like saying each one of these, if I really wanted to say, is going to be less than 90. So all angles will be less than 90 degrees. All angles. So this could be like 60, 60, and 60, okay? Less than 90 degrees. My last one that, I talk, that I'm gonna to talk to you about, let's pull out a different color here. My last one I'm gonna to talk to you about is what we call an obtuse angle or an obtuse triangle. So an obtuse triangle is gonna be, is going to have a triangle with one angle that's greater than 90 degrees. So an obtuse triangle, I might have, so if, the best way to do this is to actually draw an obtuse angle. So here's my obtuse angle. It's right here. It's much, 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 very big, right? And then I'm going to go ahead and connect my two lines there. So an obtuse angle is only going to have one angle greater than 90 degrees, okay? So um, when we name triangles here, we can name them this way and this way. So we could have an equilateral acute triangle. We can have an isosceles right triangle. Like if, for instance, this right triangle that I grew, that I drew does look like isosceles. Like this line and this line looks like they might be about the same length. So we could have a, a right isosceles or triangle. This acute triangle that I drew looks kind of like it has, it looks kind of like the equilateral one. If this line and this line and this line were all the same, I could have an equilateral acute triangle. And let's look at the scalene one. For instance, um, this one, this here is an obtuse angle, but this line and this line and this line, they do not look the same. So I could have a scalene obtuse or an obtuse scalene triangle. So when you name triangles, technically they have two names to them. They have a side name and then they have an angle name, okay? So I believe that's on one of your practices. Um, again, I'll take a picture of this and send it to you. Thanks so much.